Hey, you're not quite as stupid as you look. into this poor area. What are you looking for here? I'm just looking around a bit. Ha! Huh. Then you better not be caught looking around. It would seem that we have a few thieves in the city who would steal stuff from the rich people. The city guard recently turned the harbor district upside down, but they didn't find anything. What do you know about the thieves? Nothing, but all the citizens are scared and have become distrustful particularly towards strangers. Don't get caught in strange houses. No one takes kindly to that. Yeah, you gotta protect yourself against thieves. A sturdy cudgel works best. Can you teach me anything? Oh, I'm forging a few fittings and nails and repairing iron pots. But I don't know enough about forging weapons to be able to instruct you. If you wanna learn that, go see Harrod. He sure knows how to forge weapons. But if you want to train your muscles a bit, well, I can help you with that. How much do you charge for the training? 50 gold pieces, and I'll help you to become stronger. What are you cooking there? You oh, fish soup. It's not all that tasty, but at least Smart it's hot. Smart kid. You can try a plateful, if you like. What can you tell me about the city? Most citizens in this town are afraid of thieves. Therefore, it's not a good idea to enter strange houses. But if you're looking for a place to stay overnight, you're welcome to sleep in my hut. There is an extra bed that you can have. Aren't you afraid of thieves? The only valuable thing that I ever owned has already been taken. Oh, someone stole my statue of Inos. Could you cook me some soup? I cook for everybody. For you too, if you want. All you need to do is bring me a fish. Could you cook me some soup? Nothing could be simpler. Here, have a plate. You're not quite as stupid as you look. I won't tell her a thing from now on. If I hadn't seen it before. Everybody knows by now. I don't know you. 
Just what do you want here? Are you headed for the tavern? I'm not touching that. Some problem solved. Ah, so this is the harbor watering hole. And there I was, taking it for the governor's palace. Hey, cut out the bad jokes, Brunt. Otherwise, you'll be chewing the cobble head on. I can't believe that. Are you trying to make trouble for me? Sure, I'm a master at making trouble. You know what I so defend yourself, Runt. Really didn't deserve that. It can't go on like this forever. It's exciting. Ah! And now... What you waiting him? for? Don't yeah, stop that's now. That's the ticket. What you waiting him? for? What yeah, you waiting that's for? That's the ticket. Ah! Don't yeah, stop that's the ticket. Ah! Finish yeah, the ticket. Finish yeah, the ticket. Ah. 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 Now. Not bad. Nothing's ever going to change that. How are things? If you want something to drink, you'll have to order it. Give me something to drink. Will it ever change? I bet you overhear a lot of things. So what's that to you? I've always got an open ear for news. Have you got your purse open then? Every piece of information I give you will cost ten gold pieces. That's not what I heard. I'll give you no more than five for your information. What? Five gold pieces? Are you trying to ruin me? Let's make it seven. No, it doesn't work that way. Let's say six. You're a scoundrel, you know that? Well, if you insist, let's say six gold pieces for each piece of information. I need information. Where can I find work? You're not likely to find work down here at the harbor. You need to go to the craftsman in the lower part of town for that. But if you wield a decent blade, you could go challenge Ulrich. He fights for gold behind the warehouse. If he doesn't see that, I can't help him. Is there any special work to be had around here where I could make some quick money? Something special, you say? Hmm. Go talk to Nagur then. Maybe he can help you. Cardiff says you may have a job for me. Well, well. Is it really? So you're looking for a special job. Okay. But we play by my rules, understood? What does that mean? That means you do what I say and you get a third of the profits. If you don't like it, then there's no job. It's a bad business. We're business partners, so it's 50-50. Okay. I thought I'd give it a shot. Of course, we'll split our profits fairly. All right, what's your plan? You know the merchant Baltram, don't you? If, he doesn't if not, it, it's time you talk to him. This Baltram has a messenger who supplies him with goods from Akil's farm. That is, he had a messenger. Until I cut his throat. And now Baltram has to get a new one. And that will be you. Your job is to get hired by Baltram and fetch the delivery from Akil. You bring it to me, and then I'll set it on to an interested customer. He'll fork over a tidy little sum for it. And just don't try selling the stuff yourself. Have you got all that? How much will the profit be? I can't say exactly, but I estimate around 400 gold pieces. Business. Well then, I'm all set. Good. Then get in your way. But if you try to cheat me, you'll soon be every bit as dead as the messenger. Don't forget. Nothing amazes me. You already know what I'm much. I must be crazy. What are you doing here? Hey, Laris, you old scoundrel, how did you get here? I was able to escape to the Valley of Mines just in time, together with Lee and some of the other boys. You remember Lee, don't you? 
Of course I remember Lee. I got out of the colony with him then, just after the barrier was destroyed. He and his boys are now on the farm of Onar, the landowner. He made a deal with the farmer. He and his boys defend the farm, and Onar feeds them in return. Vatra sent me. He told me to come to you when I needed help. So you've already been to see Vatras? You must have made a lasting impression on him. Otherwise, he certainly wouldn't have volunteered my name. Especially not since the matter with those missing people still hasn't been resolved. Tell me what you need. Vatras gave me this ornament to bring to you. He said it is to be taken back. Of course. It's up to me as usual. I might have known. I'll have to walk halfway across the island to take it back to the water mages. I can take the ornament there for you. Hmm. I think I had better take it there myself. But you could come with me. Only, I can't leave here at the moment. I need to keep an eye on the harbor. What exactly do you do here at the harbor? I can't talk about that. Batras would have my head. I must talk to the paladins, by any means. What do you want from them? They've got a powerful amulet, the Eye of Innos. I must have it. And you think they'll give it to you? You'll never get into the upper end of town. That's exactly what I see. Do you know why the paladins are here? Nobody knows for sure. Lots of people think it's because of the orcs, but I think there's another reason. It probably has something to do with the old Peen colony. Vatras said you could help me join a community. <laughs> Getting tired of being the underdog, are you? All right, I see your point. I can exert my influence with the mercenaries if you want to join Lee. And I'm sure we can find a way to get you into the monastery soon. But the easiest thing would certainly be for you to join the militia. Which community do you prefer? The Fire Magicians. <laughs> I bet Vatras didn't foresee that, or he wouldn't have sent you to me. Joining the monastery is expensive. Those boys won't even let you in unless you pay them a tribute. And the only one who can do anything about that is Vatris himself. You had better talk to him again about this. I need your help. And what exactly were you thinking of? What about some better armor? Hmm. Mateo sells armor, but he'll probably charge you an arm and a leg for it. There is a way you could get it cheaper, though, if you don't mind pulling a fast one on the militia. What do you mean? There's a storage area next to Mateo's house, but all the merchandise has been confiscated by the militia. Go to Zurus at the marketplace and get yourself a sleeping spell. Then you send the guards off to Dreamland. I'm sure you'll find some decent armor among Mateo's stock. That's nothing. I need a better weapon. There's nothing I can do about that, I'm afraid. Have you tried the marketplace? I need some money. Don't we all? Sorry, but I have none to give you. But Lamar, the moneylender, still owes me a favor. Go to him and borrow whatever money you need. I'll take care of the rest. You'll find Lamar in the harbor district, where it borders on the lower part of town. So what's your business with Vatras? I've got this little agreement with the water mages, you see. What kind of an agreement? We work for them, and they see to it that our past in the penal colony doesn't get us into trouble. You're talking about the Ring of Water? You've heard of it? Vatras told me about it. You might have mentioned that right away. What exactly do you do here at the harbor? I'm doing what we all do. I fulfill the tasks the water mages give me. Some of the missing people were fishermen. They disappeared along with their boats. That's why I'm standing here, watching the harbor. Maybe something will happen yet. But you could help me. Listen, I shall give you my aquamarine ring. It signifies that the bearer belongs to the ring of water. If you wear my ring, the rest of us will know that you're acting on my behalf. Get someone to take over my duties so that I can take the ornament back. One of us is always keeping an eye on the marketplace, but I don't know whose turn it is. You had better go talk to all those standing around there. Once the right man sees my aquamarine ring on you, he will let you know.
Tell him to see to it that somebody else takes over here at the harbor. Tell me more about the Ring of Water. The ring is to the water mages what the paladins are to the fire magician. But unlike the paladins, we operate in the background. The ring is a mighty weapon in the battle against the dangers that threaten the people of Corinus. But this only works as long as we keep the identity of all those secret who belong to the Ring of Water. So keep this to yourself. Sure. I want to join the Ring of Water. That's fine with me. But the decision about whether you will be accepted or not lies with the Water Mages alone. What did you do to impress the Water Mages? I protected them for a long time when we were still living with the barrier and they have plenty of reason to be grateful to me. That's totally obvious. What's it like to belong to the ring? We are very different from the usual communities you can join here in Corinus. Once you're one of us, we're not going to ask anything of you that you are not ready to do. The only thing we truly require of you is to keep quiet. We work in secret and do not want to let outsiders know who our members are. We shall keep an eye on you. Everything else remains to be seen. I see. About those missing people. But tell me what you know. The first was William, one of the fishermen here in Corinus. One day he simply didn't return. At first we thought that one of those sea monsters out there had eaten him in his boat for breakfast. But not too long afterwards, other people started disappearing from the town and the surroundings. Pretty random events, though. Everyone's at a loss so far. The way it looks, we'll just have to wait until we finally stumble across a clue. Isn't this a case for the militia? The militia is pretty useless, if you ask me. They're never going to clear this up. The missing people have just vanished into thin air. Tell me more about Lee and his mercenaries. What do you want to know? Tell me more about the mercenaries. Well, if you're as tough as you were back then, you shouldn't have any problems with them. Most of them are ruffians, and if you can't stand up to them, you won't get far. <laughs> if you're squeamish, you don't have a chance of joining them. Okay, let's go. I cannot leave here until we know more about the missing people, or someone else takes over my duties. matter what your plans are, there'll be plenty of time later. You're right in front of the Pearl of Corinus, the Red Lantern. This is the most beautiful brothel in all of Myrtana, damn it. Sailors from the most remote corners of the world dock here just to spend a few nights in the Red Lantern. And now, it's you who has the chance, nay, the honor of spending a night with Nadia, the most passionate flower of the gods. Come on in, and you're going to experience what others cannot even dream of. Are you the one who runs this place? I am Bromo, this is my house, and these are my girls. I like my girls. And if you like my girls too, then you'll pay for it, 50 gold pieces. And don't get the idea of making trouble here. Are all your girls accounted for? Of course they are. Or do you think I want to go to jail over something like that? 
Uh, I wasn't asking about your payroll. I mean, are they all present? Or have any gone missing? Oh, yeah. Actually, one of my girls has up and left. Her name's Lucia. I reported it to the militia, too. But they claim they haven't found a trace of her yet. How long has Lucia been missing? Several days. I don't know exactly how long. I assume she ran off with one of her suitors, eh? That bitch made off with part of my savings, a really valuable golden dish, eh? If I get out of her, I give her what for. So how is that any business of yours, eh? Do you want to have fun or not? I want to have some fun. Fine. <laughs> You're not likely to forget the next few hours of your life anytime soon. Go upstairs with Nadja then. Have fun. Let's go upstairs. Today's your lucky day, baby. Let's go. I can't take care of everything for everybody. He thinks it's as easy as that. I'll never get this open without the right key. A couple of hours belong to us. It's time for you to relax, lie back, and enjoy. Go away, don't tell me that. his decision, wasn't it? But that's terrible. It was his decision, wasn't it? Hey, what's up? Man, I'm busy. Leave me alone. You don't say. Wait a minute. Come back to me the next time. That's the truth. They listen to me. It's better to watch out who you tell them. That was quite obvious. Hey! Can you tell me something about those missing people? Missing people? This is a harbor, pal. Things like that are bound to happen. The sea is treacherous and bound to claim a life now and then. Captains of large vessels will always sign on new sailors in a large seaport such as Corinis to complete their crews. And if they don't find any volunteers, some people may get dragged off against their will, and then they're gone. Are you missing someone? Me? No. Do you know of anyone who's gone missing? No idea. Ask the shipbuilders. What ship would that have been? Good question. Not many ships have come into Corinus lately. That is true. You have no business being here. Hey, you're not quite as stupid as you look. 
smart kid. And there's more, I believe me. Only in us decide. You don't have to talk about that. Hey, you. You have no business up here. Only paladins and those of us in the militia have access here. What's up here, then? This is the provisions store of the Royal Guard of the Paladins. I am the provisions master here, and I'm responsible for seeing to it that none of the Paladin stuff goes astray, and you're not wanted here. So keep your hands to yourself, or I'll chop them off. Can you sell me any of the Paladin stuff? You want to buy? Hmm. Let's say that if you could compensate me for the trouble that will arise from the Paladin's things wandering off, then we might be able to do business. Does that happen often? Things going astray? As long as the provisions master says that everything is right, no. I see. What do you have to offer? Then pay attention. All the crates still there? Don't touch anything or I'll call the watch. Got it? You're a fisherman? Now how did you ever guess that? Can't you simply leave me alone? Don't take it personally, but I haven't been too happy lately. It's that militia. Trouble with the militia? Those bastards keep coming here and taking whatever they want. Last week, they made off with my entire catch. It's for a good cause, they said. I know that everybody's got to fend for himself since the farmers have stopped trading. And, of course, sometimes people just go hungry. Small wonder that they're snatching the fish from right under my nose. But if they keep doing this, I won't even have enough to feed myself. Have you talked to the paladins about this? <laughs> Are you joking? Do you really think they'd be interested if a poor devil like me has his problems with the militia? Maybe I can help you. I don't know. I suppose you'd have to know somebody from the militia who has connections to the paladins. The paladins will hardly buy the fish from me. I shall see what I can do. Can you tell me something about the missing people? My friend William started hanging out with a bunch of shady characters. And where did it get him? One day, he simply didn't show up for work. And that's the last we saw of him. Your buddy William has disappeared? So he has. He's a fisherman, but a little too big for his boots, I should add. He should have stayed well away from that bunch. When did you last see him? Only a few days ago. Maybe he just went out to sea to fish. That's not very likely. His boat is still moored in the harbor. What's he been up to? William had some shady dealings with those crooks. I think it was all about contraband that he sold to the bastards. He'll surface again. I don't think so. He's been gone for too long already. I'm afraid that I'll be dragging his body from the sea at some point. What bastards would those be? I don't know who they are or what their business is here in Corinus. I only know the place where they met up with William. I just happened to see William there when I was fishing in the bay. Where exactly is that meeting place? There's a bay opposite the harbor, north of here. You can only reach it by boat or swim. There's a beach there and a small fishing camp. That's where I saw them. I think I've heard enough. Spare yourself the effort. I don't believe you'll find him. So, how are the fish biting? I've seen better times. Too little to live on, too much to die.
Hey, you! Faram the fisherman has problems with the militia. The boys are constantly stealing from him. And what do I have to do with it? You have a certain amount of influence up here with the paladins. Faram needs your protection. He's willing to give you a part of his catch for it. I see what you mean. Fish. As if I didn't have enough crap to deal with. Tell your pal he should come to me and tell me exactly what's up with the militia. I'll take care of it. Damn it! What's up? I know how to resolve your trouble with the militia. And how would that be? Martin, the provisions master of the paladins, wants to hear your story about the militia and the fish. And you think he can make the militia leave me alone? At least that's what he said. Great! Thank you! I cannot give you much, but wait! I found this strange blue stone on one of the islands off the coast of Corinus. I don't think it's worth a whole lot, but someone like you will certainly find a use for it. 